What's going on, everybody? Well, um, you know, I haven't really been talking about college football this year. I r usually really don't watch the sport. I mean, if I got nothing else to do, maybe, but it, it's not really my thing. I've talked a little bit about it, but I'll leave that to the people who really watch the sport for the most part. But, um, it's two days, um, until the national championship. We just had the, um, second to last college football game of the year play out. Tulsa beat Ball State by like, it was like 45-13 or something. So we got one game left. It's the national championship. So even though <coughs> I'm not exactly jumping up and down about it, it if there's a, any a time to get excited for college football, I guess it's just this one game. I, I mean, like, for instance, I only watched the last two minutes and 30 seconds of the Texas-Ohio State game, and that was a great bowl game, got a lot of hype, and ended up being a great game, and I only watched the last two minutes, 30 seconds of it, so that gives you an idea of how big I am into this. So, January 8th, at 5 o'clock my time, uh, Florida will take on Oklahoma, and again, I don't really follow this sport, but here's my take on it right now. Um... You have the two quarterbacks that finished number one and number two in the Heisman voting. Um, Sam Bradford, who just won, and Tim Tebow, who won last year and came in second this year. <coughs> um, you've got Florida, a team that won the national championship two years ago and is consistently in contention. You know, both these teams are almost always near the top. Florida in particular, re in recent times, you know, they've won under Chris Leak, uh, Danny Werfel, and et cetera, et cetera. I mean, it, there's a lot of good history here, definitely. I mean, me, even though I knew this couldn't happen, I kind of wanted a rematch of the Red River, River rivalry in the national championship with Oklahoma and Texas playing again, but that was never going to happen. So we have Florida and Oklahoma. We have two very prolific offenses. The Florida offense is loaded with playmakers. You obviously have Tim Tebow. And while it's not the, quite the same as it was last year, they still have a wealth of talented wide receiver and running back and everything else. They can do so many things to you offensively. Um, Oklahoma, not quite as many big names, but they're pretty much just as effective you know, Sam Bradford's obviously the Heisman winner, probably the best quarterback in the nation right now. Um, so we got two very prolific offenses. But when I look at this game, I see an Oklahoma team that has had one really good defensive showing all year. That was <coughs> the game against Texas Tech where they um, shut out. No, excuse me. Um, they held Texas Tech, a vaunted offense, to 21 points. That was about the only really impressive thing that uh, Oklahoma's defense has done this year. Other than that, they've given up a ton of points to most of their opposition, even though they've won, you know, those games. Their defense has still struggled quite a bit. Florida's defense, you know, maybe it won't win any awards. It won't go down as one of the greatest defenses of all time. But I definitely think it's much better than the Oklahoma defense. So I think that oh, uh, Florida is going to be able to go up and down the field on Oklahoma. I mean, if you, if you asked me how many points I think Florida's going to score in this game, I would say as many as they need to. They'll probably score like 50. If they need to score 60, they can score 60. If they need to score 70, they can probably do that. I think they can just go up and down on this Oklahoma offense. And Oklahoma, for the most part, should be able to keep up. But... Looking at Florida's defense, it has some positive things about it. It's not a bad defense. It's definitely much better than Oklahoma's, based off what I've seen so far. So I think Florida's defense is going to be able to generate enough stops to win this game. So I think Florida's going to win. I think the game will be close, but by the end, I think Florida will have pulled away and have won by double digits. The game will be close, but I think Florida will throw on one extra touchdown at the end to win, I don't know, I would guess like 45 to 35 or something like that. 
Wait, was that the game of the Texas-Oklahoma score, the Texas-Oklahoma game? Mm. That wasn't, that was totally not intentional, actually. I, you know, something really high scoring like that, anyway. So, I'm looking at the lines right now. Florida's a uh, four and a half point favorite. A week ago, they were three point favorites. So, the line is moving towards Florida. Florida. Even though that bodes well for Oklahoma, because usually when a, when the gambling community moves towards one side, the other side ends up being the correct side. I think Florida wins. I think they win by at least a touchdown. And the total points on this game is 70. I think this game definitely goes over. I think there might even be a small chance Florida w scores 70 points themselves. So that's my take. I think Florida wins national the national championship and uh, that's all I got to say about that, wrapping up another college season.